Hey, welcome back everyone. I've got a product that I'm really excited about showing you all today. It's the add-on blind system for a door. Now I have tried a lot of different styles of blinds on the door. Uh, the uh, magnetic bar with a curtain, that's pretty lame. I've done many blinds. I've done many blinds where you have to drill two holes in each side and then you have holes in your door. And when you open the door, they kind of swing out and flop, go side to side. It doesn't work very good. So those are gone. I've got some holes to patch. That'll be on the uh, to-do list for a future project. But let's get this blind put on. This particular model is for a 24 by 38 inch window. Hmm, they call that a half view door. to get to both sides. I'm used to the kind of blinds that are hidden and you can't get inside at all. Cool. So there's the up and down. This side's got the open and close. Looks nice. So this is the one we're working on now, the laundry room door to the outside and that's a magnetic bar that sucks there are the holes from the mini blinds all right so we're going to be putting brackets on the bottom edges in these corners and up in the top edges so I need to loosen the frame a little bit pull these screw plugs out and that'll free up some room to get those in. All right, I tried cutting it. Now I'm just gonna get rough. See if I can put a screw into those caps and pull them out. There's one. <sighs> Guess it works. The uh, window is going to cover those anyway, so. I don't have to worry about reusing those. All right, I need those off so I can do that. Good, I've got a gap opened up on the top. On the left, I might have to score the paint on this top right. They did stamp a little letter in these top brackets. So, whoop. Had that gap opened up too far. The top left is that one. Top right is that one. All right, got the top hooks on. I'm gonna try a test fit. There's the uh, retaining hooks on the bottom. I've got to fold those out and then we can sit it flat to the wall. And 
and I'm not done yet. I've got to put two retainers for the bottom. They're going to go about right where these hooks are. Give myself some pencil marks here. So I know where to loosen up the frame on the other side. Now I've got to get this hole out for the uh, locking mechanism to fit right there. It says install these 14 inches up from the bottom, which is a little bit above where the latch goes. my pencil mark there see that leaves just enough gap right there for the lock mechanism to get behind the frame Then you gotta say the magic words. That ain't going nowhere. Now that wasn't a bad install. It probably took uh, 15 minutes. Of course I made it look hard and I did it with a camera. So you could probably do it even faster. See, so yeah, it covered up all the uh, screw covers that I messed up in this project. There is the latch. Now eventually, I'll have to fix these holes or buy a new door. I didn't understand that. Something you could do with this that you couldn't with the mini blinds, open the door real fast. Much better. So that wasn't a bad project. I got this add-on a uh, blind product from Lowe's. I think Home Depot has it too. It was $109. I had a coupon, so I actually got it for $99 for a half half door. They've got full-size windows. They've got like the shorty nine-inch ones that go beside a, a really fancy door. So a lot of options if you want to upgrade your window without having to buy an entire new door. So that's all I've got for this one. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helped you out and maybe gave you an idea for a future project. Hey, I'll see you all next time. What are y'all looking at? Did you just say, must be nice working in the air conditioning all day. Hey, don't look at them, they'll just make you sad. <laughs>